Now, this is an update on YouTube, right? Some information that I came across, you know, watching YouTube videos. And pretty much YouTube is changing things up, which they've been doing this year. But it's getting a lot more tighter. All right, now, I came across some information earlier through the Spirit. Um, brother sent it on the chat room that um, pretty much every video you upload on YouTube, you have to verify whether it's intended for children or not. All right, you know, something, you know, um, revolving around that concept, you know, and some some new information that I just came across, you know, as of uh, within an hour or two ago, is that by December 10th, 2019, this year, next month from now, all right, YouTube is going to make even more drastic changes, which can terminate and eliminate all of our accounts, all right, which is beautiful through the spirit of Yahweh by Shri Shai because it ties into one scripture, and we all know the scripture, um, Amos, all right, and I'll get that later, you know, but I want to read a couple things um, regarding this new policy that YouTube is coming out with, all right, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to a discussion forum, which is, this is on Reddit, and, um, I'm going to read some things. It says, December 10th, 2019, the day that YouTube dies. The updated TOS will allow for the termination of any Google account not deemed to be commercially viable. All right? So, because we all know that um, YouTube was, you know, Google bought YouTube. They, you know, purchased YouTube. They own YouTube. And for the accounts that are deemed not commercially viable are pretty much all the smaller accounts. And in particularly, this is all targeting the Israelites, all right, because there's no way a Hebrew Israelite page or channel, mainly, I'm, I'm going to speak on Great Millstone because through the Spirit, you know, starting with the Apostle on down, we give the raw, uncut truth that the world hates, all right, now, commercially viable, let's look that up real fast, right, commercially viable, That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is a video from Amawan Gabar's page brother from the main camp and um you know he's breaking it down giving out the info all right with uh you know update on youtube so i'm gonna continue uh on his on his show because he said some uh, great information that us brothers need to know because it's um measuring the time diligently in itself as the scripture is read in second edges the ninth chapter all right scripture say measure thou the time diligently in itself and why is youtube you know a part of uh us pushing this truth is because it's the main media source where brothers uh you know push this truth you know and um there's other outlets but youtube you know play a, a primary figure as far as uh the prophets of yahweh bashim yahweh pushing his word and um as you know you, you hear the brother breaking it down that uh you know if your videos can't be commercial, you know, commercialized, then YouTube is, you know, they're willing to um, delete your account, even your own, your, your whole Google account, your email, you know. And I've seen other uh, uh, men on YouTube, you know, Edomites, could be Israelites, you know, and they were furious about this, you know, and they were talking about it, you know. So this is the news, you know, that's going forth on YouTube. All right, so I'm going to let the brother uh, continue to break down uh, this information. <laughs> Which also, you can, uh, you know, go to his page to watch the full video, GMS Awakening. All right. It says the ability of a business product or service to compete effectively and to make a profit. All right, wind power or some, well, they give you an example. But in other words, so you can understand commercially viable, meaning, you know, that service, business or product, because Google is a business, it's a product and it's a service, all right? So is YouTube, which is now owned by Google, it's a business, a product.
product and a service. All right, we us, we uploading videos through the service of um, through YouTube services. All right, through that platform. All right. So, um, going back to this article, right, about being commercially viable on Reddit. So, December tenth, two thousand nineteen, the day that YouTube dies. The update. The updated TOS will allow for the termination of any Google account not deemed to be commercially viable. So this is justification to delete all of our accounts because our accounts are not commercially viable. Esau cannot profit, make a profit off of our videos. All right, there's no profit for them. Here we are, you know, bringing out the truth of the Most High, cursing out Edom, all right, waking out people the elect up, which is the last thing these elites would have wanted to happen. So this is a justification to terminate all of our pages and expect it, all right? Expect it, you know? All right, so you heard it, man. And um, if you watch this full video, the brother also uh, uh, make a statement and, and, and says, uh, you know, you know, you know, another reason why Esau would be doing this because, you know, we all know by 2020, as the brother said, that they want to start, you know, rolling out that, that chip, you know, the mark of the beast. You know, people are going to, the people here in the states of America, all right, Lord willing, Lord willing, all right, you know, next year, you know, start being introduced and to taking the, the the RFID microchip, which is a radio frequency identification chip, but known in the scriptures as the mark of the beast. And if you can't uh, receive that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast, then the Lord is not dealing with you, straight up, because we're too late in eight. We're too late in the um in this godforsaken kingdom of Esau for you not to understand that. You know, you know, we're not debating. We're telling you. Okay, because you can do your own research. Everyone has a smartphone and you can do and you can look it up. You know, you can research news and you can watch current events and you can see that, you know, this is Esau's uh, future in which they believe, you know, they're going to have, you know, everyone being a transhuman microchip, you know, robots amongst us with AI intelligence having rights as uh, 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 having rights like citizens. You know, and other shit, man. You know, his his mind is uh, out of this world because he believes that he's gonna sit in the seat in the temple of the Most High. All right, and who was the temple of the Most High? You Israelites, man. You know, it would be Esau. You know, uh, uh, one last chance to uh, 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 what you call it? Um, damn, uh, one last chance to uh, disrupt prophecy. But you can't disrupt prophecy because the Lord's will. Is the Lord's will, all right? That will make the the Heavenly Father a liar, in which the Heavenly Father is not a liar, all right? So, and as the brother also quoted, he also quoted, um, you know, the scripture, which we all know, Amos eight and eleven. Which I'm going to read. It says, "Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for, for water, but of hearing the word of Yahweh." Okay. So as this word was been pushed for many years, you know, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, been around for 30 years t uh, teaching this truth. And, you know, they came on the meet. They came on, um, you know, YouTube around 2007, you know, uh, I believe Nate and uh, Zabak, you know, they also was on YouTube as well. And um, that's how long this truth been pushing as far as the media, okay, as far as uh, pushing on this platform on YouTube, all right? And it's, and it's devastated the world, okay? Because now, you know, all over the world, you know, this the so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native and Seminole Indians have woken up to the fact that they're Israelites. And we all know the scriptures say in Matthew 24, that uh, when this word go out through the four, when this gospel go out through the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come. All right. So this is a part of the end. You know, scoffers and people that are unlearned of the scriptures. You know, you may uh, you know that hate the prophets of the Lord, and you want us to shut up. You know, you might think that you know you're gonna be in good case, or you're gonna have peace, or let's say you're gonna um, be thankful that Esau finally shut us up. And this goes, this goes out to you heathens and Edomites too. 
you know, that, that hate us so much because we're bringing out this truth, this history and prophecy, you know, that, you know, everything is going to be, they finally shut us up, you know, they did something about us. Well, this is a part of the end. We understand that this has to happen. Just like Esau has to go down. Well, before Esau go down, this is a prophecy that the Lord is going to shut up the prophets because the Lord basically is done talking, man. Okay. The Most High did a lot of talking for many years, just like in the past. Okay. Jeremiah prophesied for many years. Isaiah prophesied for many years. So it's the same way as today. The Lord said he's a man of old. He changed not. At least Jacob be consumed, man. All right. And this is the way, this is the fashion, and this is the way that the Lord do things. And he's warned us. So when we do these shows, like we always say, these shows are for the hopeful elect, for those that are sincere. All right. Starting with the men down to the elected women. Okay. That's up under those men. Okay. Under their husbands and children. All right. So it says Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, say of the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, nor a famine of bread, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. So not only the Lord is going to actually bring the famine of food and water, but in this case, you know, because we know that a famine is going to come, all right, here in North America, I'm going to say around the world, but mainly here in Babylon, because North America, uh, mystery, excuse me, North America is mystery Babylon, all right, Babylon the Great, which means great confusion, all right. We know that it's going to be a famine of food and water, but the Lord in this case is talking about a famine of not hearing the word. So all of you that, you know, shadow defense and played along, you know, and cheerlead, if you haven't soaked up this truth for yourself, because Paul said, have thou faith, have it to thyself. If you haven't gotten this word for yourself and, and repent it, you know, put off the old man, you know, you could believe that you're in it. You could believe that you're in the truth. All right, but if you haven't shut it off that old man, that's your ass, man. You know, because the Lord looks within the inward part of man, which is looking for the sincerity of the man. All right, and mainly this is what? About faith, all right? Faith, the evidence of things not seen, okay? Faith, which is a gift, Ephesians 2, I believe it's 2 and 8, a gift from, from the Most High. All right, so let's continue. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the lord and shall not find it so when the lord do shut the brothers up the prophets from speaking okay because the scriptures also say uh he will make their tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth you know so that they'll be dumb and they can't speak so they can't prophesize all right let's let this satan go by <clears throat> All right, so, you know, it's very important because the Lord is done talking. You know, we've been telling you guys that, you know, when, we, when we're speaking out, you know, doing these shows, it's all through this, the Rakah uh Spirit, Holy, Holy Spirit of the Lord, okay? It's all through the Spirit of the Lord, and this is the Lord's message, okay? First off is to, uh, to warn and uh, uh, reprove you Israelites, all right, for you to repent, to walk into the gates of the noble, and then also too is to warn and tell you, uh, you, you heathens, okay, and especially Esau, all right, which rules the world today, that you're gonna go into captivity. The Most High is telling you to your face, all right. He has raised up the men of the Lord, the tabernacle of David, right in your face, right in your face, man, right in your face, okay. And now we're at the end, man. Like the scriptures say, there's a beginning and there's an end, but the end shall manifest. All right. So this is all prophecy, man. You know, so um, it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Because now you folks out there that took the Lord for granted, that took his word for light, you know, for a light, light thing. When you realize that the prophets, you know, when the Lord shut the prophets up and you realize from your listening to the prophets, which is really listening to the Lord's counsel, that all the things that the men of the Lord were talking about going to start coming true. You're going to start looking for the men of the Lord. 
We told you that Jacob's trouble, okay, is approaching. There will be martial law, all right? They will force and demand you to, to take that mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, all right? When it's hard to live your everyday life, when things are changing, because what's happening is that these, mm -hmm. these elites are, are performing their enterprise, okay? Which is their new world order, one world government, one world currency so they can sit in the seat of the most high we have warned you man and when these things start to make start to come down upon you here in the states here in babylon america all right and you start to go to work and all your co-workers are talking you see it on the news people are stressing there's sedition there's protests whatever you want to call it all right when there's an uproar you're going to start looking for the men of the lord but as we always told you, okay, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, man, because those are our teachers, all right, and who taught us, because they learned from their el their elders, all right, and from Yahweh Bashem Yahushai mainly, man, okay, and this truth got passed down. So we told you, we cannot save you, man. We can't even save ourselves. That's why the scriptures say, give dil give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Let me say that again. Uh, let me quote it again. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure because we were called. That's beautiful. But the point, the matter, the, 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 the whole matter is you want to be the elected. So give diligence in which the apostles taught us. All right. Start with the elder apostle Tahar to be diligent in this work. All right. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. So that we be the elect and be sealed, man. You know, we're hoping that the Lord have mercy on us. You know, so how much more are you? So watch. You just watch. All right? As the scripture says, it's going to happen, man. And I'll read it one last time. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even from the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the Lord, seek the word of the Lord, but shall not find it. So you're not going to find this truth when you go looking. Mm -hmm. Because you ain't going to find the brothers. Most High is going to hide the brothers, man. All right? Right now, mm -hmm. hey, when this happened, hey, the Lord is going to act, man. You're going to start seeing more sightings of chariots. You're going to start seeing more, uh, how you say that word, aborigines, you know, spirits. Things are, things are going to, uh, what they call, un super unnatural things are going to start happening, man. Okay? Things are going to go down because the Lord is going to work. The Most High is going to play his hand now. Because we did our part, okay? We done our part, which was the prophesize, and now everything left is for the Lord to act. So don't think you in good case, okay? Because the Lord shut the prophets up. This is beautiful, man. You know, I put on the brother's comment board, uh, beautiful Yapa inf uh, info, I, you know, brother? Because we at that time, you see what's going on in the world if you've been watching, you know? Anyway, verse 13, in that day, Shall the fair virgin and the young men faint for thirst? Thirst for what? Thirst for hearing the word. You know? You know, there's a lot of people that's watching. Uh, a lot of people in the world that's watching the elders and the apostles, man. You know? And you know, they probably wake up in the morning. You know, just like Jake do with these TV shows. Or, I mean, well, radio shows. You know, you wake up in the morning. You cut your radio on. You make your coffee, your tea. Getting ready for work. There's people, okay, that's listening to the, the elders speak. Okay, the apostles speak and break down the scriptures and get into prophecy and history, you know, and 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 they they going about their life, they going about their way, you know. There's some that believe that way, you know. They may not be prophets and things like that, you know, things of that nature. You might not be a prophet. Not everybody's a prophet, but people have woken up to the fact of Yahweh Bashem Shai is our Lord and Savior. All right, our Heavenly Father and the Begotten Son. Which is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right. And Yahshua Allah, that the Israelites are the prince of the, of the Most High. All right. Consistent, consistent of the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians, man. Okay. Just, like, just as well as the West Indians and Haitians. Those are Israelites. All right. So from here, I want to go to um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 1. It says, but of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. 
for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So that's why it's important for the Lord to shut the prophets up. Because the Lord's coming like a thief. If the Lord allowed us to continue to prophesize, all right, you know, right to the, the very second he come, we, we will spill the beans. We'll spill the beans, man. Because if the Lord gave us a heads up and we were still out there prophesizing, we'll tell the world, Lord coming back tomorrow. The Lord coming back today. You know, but the scriptures say, you know, uh, uh, no man, all right, nor angel know that uh, uh, Pacific time, the day and the hour. Okay, not even Yahweh himself know. So how much more us as the servants, the prophets, the messengers, the angels? Okay, how much more us? You know, let me read it again. That's why this is this is very important, man. But of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. So, <laughs> hey, you know, I'm just hypothetically speaking on this matter, you know, because the Lord said count the cost. So you got to think, you know, we, we meditate, we think upon things. All right. Hey, if the Lord, uh, when the Lord shut the prophets up and from speaking, okay, putting it out there on the unicorn, which is the internet of things, you know, the Lord can actually, hey, he could possibly shut us up for a whole year. Because guess what? That'd give enough time for the people in the world who know of us to be like, you know, they think they're peace and safety. They don't hear no more of a rebuttal. They don't have no more of correction, reproving from us, you know, breaking down the scriptures and, you know, because we do a lot of uh, 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 defending the gospel. You know, we're crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst of us. So when we see celebrities doing bullshit, you know, promoting uh, wickedness, Esau promoting wickedness, we go into the scriptures and we break it down. But when you don't see that no more, people are going to get used to because Esau knows this. This is why. They don't they cutting out um channels that they can't commercialize. They can't sell because they know the people will go right back to sleep. You can keep you man, listen, you could be woke today, but you could be sleep tomorrow. Everything that you learn today and be woke tomorrow, you can go right back to sleep. Because Esau know how to rock you niggas back to sleep. He know how to rock you, you, you pick you sheeple back to sleep shut the prophets up and feed them all of this uh folly man and you're gonna go right to sleep so it says verse three for when they shall say peace and safety because then you may say well look you know it's uh, you know you have peace safety you know everything is cool uh justifying wickedness wickedness is uh uh actually taking its uh its uh its route finishing its route i should say because it's already there it's a root of it. It's growing. But what's well, what's keep chopping it down every time it, it, it uh, try to get to a certain level? The prophets are speaking, you know. Uh, scriptures say in um, Wisdom of Solomon, in the second chapter, that uh, we were made to reprove uh, Esau's thoughts. We was were made to reprove his thoughts. We, uh, we're not of his turn, man. Matter of fact, the scriptures say we are of another fashion. The portion of Jacob is not like them. That's the elect. The prophets, man. All right. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travailed upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right. So the Lord, his MO, his motto is come as a thief in the night. So guess what? The prophets of the Lord got to be quiet. Can't We can't spill the beans. <laughs> can't spill the beans man all right because the lord want to come as a thief in the night that's the way the heavenly father sent him back his son all of a sudden okay that the crowd the, the, the uh excuse me the lord is cracking those clouds all right verse four but ye brethren are not in darkness for that day should not overtake you as a thief exactly because we already know these prophecies we know what's going to go down so it's not going to overtake us as a thief you know, we're not going to be confused and asking questions and looking for 
uh, 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 noblemen, you know, prophets. We are, we are the prophets, okay? Verse 5, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. So we don't represent the darkness and the wickedness of this world. We have Yahweh Bashim Shot. And as I remember, Elder Apostle Arumlaab, he did a beautiful show. I think the I think it was the beginning of this year on um, citizenship. You know, I forgot the title of the, the video, but I know in the video he was making mention on how the elect has citizenship in the kingdom of heaven. And two thirds don't. All right. Two thirds going to have to die on this side in order to, for them to receive that citizenship, which is in the kingdom of heaven. All right. Because of their wickedness. So it says, ye are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Okay? So that's the big difference, man. That, that That's the difference between the Israelites. You have the elect and you have the uh, two-thirds. All right? Not everybody that know they're an Israelite is going to be woke. It's going to watch and be sober. That's why we tell you to repent, man. Be sincere. Okay, I quote it again as Paul said, uh, 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 have thou faith, have it to thyself first. Because you got to have faith. Okay, you, you, I, you. Okay, you can't, you're not going to make it off somebody, another brother's faith. You got to have your own faith. You got to believe, man. So it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for an helmet, the hope of salvation. All right, because that's what this boils down to, our hope and faith. Okay, it says the breastplate of faith and love. Why love? Because we, we are keepers of the Lord's commandments and precepts. Okay, it says, and for an helmet, all right, which is our head, the hope of salvation. All right. Verse 9, for Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right, so it's not for us to wrath. You know, we're not going to be out there in no race war, you know, when, it's script, when the Lord fulfill that, nation versus nation, okay? Nationality versus nationality. All right, he's not going to um, uh, uh, allow us to be in that. You know, we're not going to wrath, you know? And the Lord is not going to bring his wrath upon his elect. All right, because why? It's, it clearly says, but to obtain salvation. So if the Lord want his elect to retain, uh, to obtain the salvation, he's going to have them quiet, you know, right? sitting still, waiting to be picked up by the chariots of the Lord, man. You know, so, uh, you know, dang, they, uh, it, not dang, so like you, let me, um, let me get a, one more scripture because uh, it just came in mind as I was uh, read it or oh, well saying speaking <clears throat> excuse me let me see here uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1 all right it says uh then shall they then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account for his labor and that's happening now this is also prophecy because the righteous is the elect the righteous is the men of the Lord okay out there speaking Standing in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Standing in the face of who? Esau. Edom. Okay? It says, and made no account for his labors. Because these Edomites have made no account for our labors, man. Okay? For us being slaves. You know? Matter of fact, they forward our affliction, man. Verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. That's why they're, they're you know, they're looking to, um... They, they, they're gonna bring a famine on the on the on the word. They're gonna raise brothers' accounts, all right, because they're in fear, because their agenda is to promote and to force this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. This is the go. This is their agenda, all right. For they it says when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, so far beyond all that they look for. You see. Because the way that we're going to be delivered is going to be amazing, man. All right. It says, and they, and they repenting and groaning of anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision. 
and a proverb and a reproach we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor you see that <laughs> because they believe that we're madmen you know we're out of our minds you know we need to be stopped <laughs> they're crazy you know you thought we were fools for being out there prophesizing to the wind you know prophesizing to the elect you know so it says we fools accounted his life madness so you are the fool all right it says and his end to be without honor because the honor we're going to receive is when yahweh shall return man when he cracked those clouds okay it says how is he numbered among the children of god and his lot is among the saints therefore we have erred from the way of truth the light of the righteousness have not shone unto us and the son of righteousness rose not upon us. And I could, I could picture these Edomites, you know. Now, I'm not talking about the uh, elite, but regular Edomites that know about us. And they watch our shows secretly. Probably put little slick comments, you know. And they, and they really laugh every time. They, they, they think we're a joke. <laughs> you know, they do their little laugh and really think that we're fools. They really believe that we're fools, all right. You know, they look at us and they smirk. I, I can see... There, I can see th that type of uh, Edomite saying this, man. Just as well as the heathens, the rest of them. All right, the other nations. It says, therefore, we have erred from the way of truth because we get those dirty looks from you heathens and you Edomites, even from Jake, man. Even from Jake, two thirds. Okay, when we in the camps. So it says, therefore, we have erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us. And the son of righteousness rose not upon us because you think that Christianity and Jesus Christ is the truth. Okay, Christianity and Jesus Christ is a plantation slavery doctrine that was pushed upon uh, the Israelites, man. And just so happen you Edomites, you know, you fell in that 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 shithole and believing that God uh, that you're God's people, man, because of your own uh, deception, man, from from your elites. Okay, from pushing that bullshit. Okay, you fell into the uh, pit too, and believing in that shit, you know. And now you're fighting tooth and nail to upheld it, man. When the Lord is breaking down the strongholds, man. All right. It says, therefore, no, verse seven. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Exactly, because Christianity is destruction and it's wickedness, man. All right. The Virgin Mary. It's idol worshiping. It's everything the Lord said not to do. Okay? It's Satan. It says, We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. Exactly, man. All right? You have not known it because you despise this truth. Or you just not one of the Lord's elect. Or you're not an Israelite. All right. It says, what have pride profit of us or what good have riches with our vaunting brought us? Exactly. Because you thought that, uh, you know, the rich is on top, you know, whatever the rich say, that's more important. You judge a man according to appearance. All right. You know, Jay-Z could sit here right now and say, you know, the real God's name is, uh, 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 I don't know, uh, uh, Turk, I don't know, Turk, whatever I don't, It just came up with anything And guess what, you people will start believing And praying into a damn demon Called Turk, you know Anything that they put Upon this social media And they put upon the news Your fluff news, alright You believe it So what pride profit of you, man It says Or what good Have riches with our vaunting Brought us so what good were your riches, man? Because I've realized that most of these celebrities, just because they got a lot of money and they live that luxurious lifestyle, all right, that rich type lifestyle, they still dumb as a doorknob, man. It's ridiculous how Alicia Keys, uh, 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 Dwayne Wade, uh, just for an example, those two, you know, and their families, they're teaching their children, their boys, to be homosexual and they're embracing it and promoting it across the world making videos 
talking about uh, you have you have to have an open mind. When we you, when you can clearly see that is wrong, man. All right, that is wrong. And I just use those two as an example, man. It shows you that these celebrities, it does not matter how much money you got. You can have all this money in the world, but you could be dumb as a doorknob, man. You know, and especially how they uh, giving money to these uh, niggas, all right, which are these rappers, man. Rappers are the most foolish niggas on the planet, man. And they continuing to promote bullshit, wickedness, and keeping you Israelites sleep, man. That that uh, that that nigga shit, man. Thinking it's a uh, a uh, uh, a cool thing to be a nigga and it's not that shit is old and played out man and the lord about do with you niggas man y'all all got blood on your hands it don't matter if you claim that you're a role, a role model or not i'm not a role model shut the hell up when you sold your soul nigga you became an idol you are a role model regardless these people out here are listening to you all right so you got blood on your hands man um Matter of fact, Salaki, I got one more, one more, and I'm going to wrap this thing up. I didn't mean for this lesson to be so long, uh, but I'm going to get right to the point. This is Job chapter 5 and uh, 12. It says, matter of fact, 11, to set on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. All right. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And that's talking about you Edomites in your new world order. All right, the Most High is going to disappoint you. Okay, he's going to frustrate. Okay, and uh and uh 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 disrupt your goals, your agenda. All right, because Esau, you're at the end of your kingdom. He disappointed the devices of the crafty, so their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise, because Esau today is considered the wise. All right, uh, it's, you know the scriptures. You know he's he's wiser than the children of light. You know he gives a diligent search. All right. Uh, even also, you know, today uh, Esau is also the modern Chaldeans. All right. So it says he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. See, crafty man. The Lord taketh you in your own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet in darkness in the daytime, and they grope in the noonday at the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth. Notice it said their mouth. And from the hand of the mighty because they're plotting against you israelites man okay you do have an enemy and that is esau okay instead you want to have compassion even when he uh kill your mama man or your brother or your father that shit is sickening man it's a stockholm syndrome man but um slakia but he saveth the poor from the sword from their mouth all right because they're when they get into their little uh these elites, when they get into their uh, meetings, you know, Bahamian Grove, and they do their little rituals, they are having meetings about how they they're gonna uh, disrupt prophecy, man. All right, but you know, I don't want to keep dragging on. The spirit is on me, but I don't want my uh, what you call it. Uh, uh, I want the video to not save itself, the 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 fucking uh, memory, whatever it is called. But, uh, you know, once again, this is a brother, uh, I'm a Wonka Bar page, uh, The Awakening. He put out some good news, man. It says, get it while you while you can, all right, which is this truth. December 10th, uh, the day that YouTube dies, all right? And he brought out some great information, man. So, you know, hey, famine on his word has to come. It's prophecy, all right? But the Lord said, uh, 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 the Lord, uh, First Thessalonians, um, uh, uh, the Lord comes as a thief in the night So it's the reason why we gotta shut up Cause we can't spill the beans <laughs> You know Gotta shut up man Alright So all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai man Call halal la Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai So with that All praises to the Father Yahweh In the name of the Son Yahweh Shai I wanna give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect Shalom